Here is another stomach. I think you could see the uh, large bands of smooth muscle within the wall. I think you could see a very nice loose vascular submucosa. And probably 90% of what you're looking at in this field is mucosa. There's the nice delineation by the muscularis mucosae and all of this glandular stuff, pretty nicely arranged, is gastric mucosa. Well, uh, by the classic definition of chronic inflammation anywhere, whenever you see increased numbers of chiefly mononucleated cells like lymphocytes within uh, tissue, here you see more than just chronic inflammatory cells or lymphocytes, you actually see a follicle here, but notice throughout this entire mucosa, and even a little bit into the uh, muscularis mucosa, you see increased numbers of lymphocytes, chronic inflammation. Uh, this is chronic gastritis by the classic definition. If this was a part of the gastric mucosa that was making intrinsic factor necessary for vitamin B12 absorption in the terminal ileum, then you might expect somebody that had a uh, extensive or severe enough of a chronic gastritis might also show the megaloblastic changes of pernicious anemia as well. Very nice case of uh, chronic gastritis.